Hi, I'm Katherine Marsh, author of Jep, Who Defied the Stars. Most authors, especially historical fiction, do research for their books, but only a few of us get really down and dirty trying to imagine the lives of our characters. Which brings us to today's segment, The Guy Inside the Pie. I once claimed that the worst job in the world was having to pick up your boss's fake nose. Not true. The worst job in the world, a word once again to my hero Jep, is jumping out of pies. How did Jep end up getting this job? He becomes a court dwarf. Egyptian pharaohs, Chinese emperors, European monarchs, all of them surrounded themselves with dwarves. The job description could include anything from dressing up in animal costumes to singing cages to, yes, jumping out of pies. How did it feel to be included in a powerful court and yet treated for the most part like a possession and plaything? Okay, so I couldn't actually build myself a pie big enough to jump out of, but I did spend some time with the paintings of Diego Velazquez. Velazquez was a 17th century Spanish painter who loved to paint court dwarves. He saw in them a humanity that the people around them often missed. Just check out his painting of Don Sebastian de Mora. Look at his eyes. Have you ever felt like an outsider, like people underestimate you or they judge you because what you look like? This guy knows what you're talking about. And it's this painting more than any other that inspired Jep. The French writer Gustave Flaubert once said of his most famous character, Madame Bovary, Madame Bovary, c'est moi. Well, Jep isn't just me. Jep, say new. He's us. His story of fitting in and finding his place in the world is a universal one. <laughs> That's my cue. Time to get back to work. The rest of you, check out my book. Jep, who defied the stars. Oof. What I do for art. <laughs>